Hey there, baseball fans. I am Ben, and today we've got some top stadium club packs to open from 1992 and 1993. Before we do, I just noticed this as I took these last few packs out of this uh, 1993 Series 2 box. It says it includes action photos of Florida Marlins and Colorado Rockies, which is awesome, but free master photo enclosed as well. And I didn't know what that meant because this was upside down in there. It was like this, and so I didn't even know it was there. But look, this is like a giant master photo of Ricky Henderson. I don't know exactly what master photo refers to. <laughs> I think it's, I have no idea. But in any case, it's really cool. So excited to have that in my collection and I'll figure something else out to do with it. But let's open up some packs. What? And I really do think this 1992 set is one of the better sets here because it's just all about the photo, like the minimal design, very, you know, nice gold photo plating with the name underneath. Um, but it's just like, it's like looking through literal pictures. And then the design in the back is good too. And of course, everybody loves the rookie card in the back, but um, it's like looking through a, a stack of photos, which is really cool and better than most cards. The problem is that they, it's UV coated, so they stick regularly. And um, so that's a challenge. And this is series three, which means that they've got a lot of kind of like, you know, they've got some late season trades and a lot of folks who made the bigs towards the end of the season. Um, so a lot of no names in here. But if I can find like a Nolan Ryan or, you know, Ryan Sandberg, I don't know if there is a Ryan Sandberg in this series, but you know, I'm always looking for Nolan Ryan, Ryan Sandberg, Sean Dunstan, and Mark Grace. I'm looking for any stars or anything else that's interesting in here but i thought this whole master photo thing was pretty interesting look at that i love that picture i don't know what his weird face is all about but it's a really cool picture you want to what probably a two seam fastball at least or something anyway there's mike blecky looking very angry So far, we're just not seeing much of anything in these. Steve Sachs. You know, I wonder what ever happened to Steve Sachs. He, I think about it most about being in the Simpsons episode of the softball league that Mr. Burns has all these ringers on the nuclear power plant softball team. And Steve Sachs is one of them. He just enjoys, I think it's Steve Sachs. He, um, he uh, gets arrested because he's from New York. Hello to Randy Johnson. Look at that long mane of hair in the back there. Very nice. And they show the 1989 Tops rookie card. Put that aside. Great shot of Paul Sorrento there. Brett Saberhagen. What shoes is he wearing? What? I have no idea what those are. Kind of a shoe guy. I used to work at the sneaker industry. And like, I don't know what brand that is. So look, I'll have to find that out. If anybody knows, well, let me know. Good portrait of Gary Carter. That's really nice shot of a good player. Solid career guy. Another nice portrait of Danny Tartable. Smiling but staring off into the distance. Very good. Right at dusk. Nicely done. Top Stadium Club. Really focusing on photography here. Good work. All right. One more pack here. Again, it's been kind of dry from a card to pull out standpoint. Only one Randy Johnson of any interest really. There's Todd ben Benzinger uh, with a mustache he definitely should not have. Why is the middle of his mustache missing? I feel like I have to pull this card out and, and learn more about this card because he has a, first of all, it's kind of a bad mustache, but also he's missing part of it. Maybe there's something that we can find out on the internet about that.
Well, there's a Barry Bonds, member's choice. So that's something. Tony Pena taking a nice relax on the side on his uh, on his bum there. All right, so those were some pretty poor packs with just two cards of Randy Johnson and the Buried Bonds coming out of them. Let's take a look at the uh, 1993 Stadium Club Series 2. I think these are my last packs of this, probably. So hopefully we get something good. It's a nice set, nice looking set. There's the Eck. Put him aside. Just see what's on the back of that. So here's a card controversy for you. When something is a sideways picture, I tend to make it orient to the right. This one clearly is oriented to the left because to make the back up and down, it would have to be like that. So that's weird to me. What are your thoughts? Do you agree? Are you a lefty or a righty? There's Mark McGuire, member's choice. This is when he started to get bigger and bigger in terms of his size and bulk. So I'm not going to say how that happened, but you can take your own guess. Skeeter Barnes. Brady Anderson. Nice picture of him. From Ventura. Bob McDonald and Mark Langston. That's actually a really cool shot of Mark Langston. Using the bokeh effect in photography there. If you photography nerds like me. I said action shots of the Marlins and Rockies. This is not action. It's got pose, but um, it is a shot of him. There's Don Mattingly. That's a nice shot of him. Big, huge cumulus clouds in the background. See, look, look at this. This one is oriented to the right. Now you, I mean, you got to be consistent at least. What in the world is going on? So we have Marlins and Rockies and Rockies, and they're all just pose shots, not action shots. So exactly the thing that they were touting on the box, not happening. There's George Brett, a nice shot of him. Again, this one's oriented to the right, which as I would prefer it, but why did that Eckersley be to the left? Just, I guess we'll never know. Tim Costo, he's an Iowa boy, played for the University of Iowa. You can see on his tops rookie card there. Andres Galarraga. See, this one is oriented to the left. What is going on? Someone please tell me what is happening here. How is the world gone all topsy-turvy? We need consistency. Look, there's another Steve Sachs. Let's put those together. Just for fun. Holy cow, look at that! I didn't know he was in this series, but there he is, Sean Dunstan. And this is a car that I am not sure I had in my collection, so it makes me stoked to get it. Perfect. Yes! Honestly, that's why I do this whole thing, because I just love to pull those cards out from my favorite players and add to my personal collection. I'll take another look at that one. There he is. Turning, trying to turn two. This is him coming off a, an injury season. So 1992 and 1993, he was injured. 94, 94, he comes back with a vengeance, playing great. And then the baseball strike happens. That was the, he was projected that they would have finished out. He would have hit 310 and you know, would have had a career season for himself. But the baseball strike ruined it all. There's a John Schmoltz. I guess that's kind of an action shot of Rocky. That's definitely not an action shot of a Marlin. Move on. Diving back to the base. Jose Canseco. Look, and you can see the ball is down there. 
Oh no, that's the ball from the graph. Never mind. Scratch that. Okay, Herbeck. Yeah, there's Bernie Williams. It's a nice Bernie Williams card there. Beautiful. Yvonne Rodriguez, getting passionate about whatever it was. Nice. And that'll do it for that. All right. So look up the, I'll look up that Todd Benzinger later. If you want to look him up and find out why he has a half mustache, I'd say do it. Otherwise, we're going to look up Steve Sachs, playing for the White Sox here. But, you know, he was a longtime Dodger and a Yankee at some point. So let's look up Steve Sachs. There he is. And uh, coach. He played from 81 to 94, mostly with the Dodgers. Five-time All-Star. National League Rookie of the Year in 82. Silver Slugger in 86. Played with the Yankees, White Sox, A's. And he hosts Sirius XM Major League Baseball Network Radio. So that's cool. Definitely a baseball lifer. Played for a nice long time. Hit 281, which is great. Not next layer of power here, though. 444 stolen bases. But five-time All-Star. And throughout the 80s. So half the 80s seasons, he was a, and won the World Series twice. Rookie of the Year. Let's kind of skip through all this stuff. Whoa, Steve Sachs Syndrome. Inexplicably became incapable of making routine throws to first base in 1983, committing 30 errors in the season. This is referred to in baseball terminology as Steve Sachs Syndrome. What? Just a breakdown of basic mechanics, also known as the yips. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> that is funny. But he, he redeemed himself by 1989, led the American League in feeling percentage in double plays. So that is hilarious. I had no idea. Um, so it looks like he had, Oh, so, so there he is, Homer at the Bat with the Simpsons episode. Um, also in Who's the Boss and Hollywood Squares, Sabrina Teenage Witch. That's interesting. Ran for a seat in the California State Assembly. Works as a financial consultant. Partner in Sachs Hinman Sports Professional Group. So clearly an entrepreneurial kind of guy and a businessman. First base coach for the Diamondbacks. Dodgers. And then as a host. Brother of another former Major League player, Dave Sachs, who played for the Dodgers. The father of Lauren Ashley Boyd and son, John Jeremy Sachs, his nephew, Dave Sachs Jr., who was on an episode of Intervention in 2015. So, quite the colorful uh, story and background there. Steve Sachs, good player, good hitter, multiple-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, had a case of the yips for a while, so Steve Sachs Syndrome. Um, was a, was good at kind of making his way in business and doing all kinds of things and uh, totally a new respect for Steve. So Steve, hats off to you, my friend, and the rest of you, we'll see you next time.